My name is Jill. I know you, a lot of you already know that, but I'm gonna teach you how to assemble these the correct way. These are the book treat boxes. There are some tips for them. Um, Simply Sparkling is what I'm using, and the dies. And then I'm also gonna use the Take a Bow 6x6. Six six. And I'm not gonna really use the Christmas side, and I'll show you. And then I am also used a little bit of festive 12 by 12 to get the longer pieces. So I'm gonna first put this together and if you notice there's adhesive right here. So you wanna go ahead and fold them all the right way before you actually put them together. And then this adhesive is amazing. I mean, once you stick it down, it doesn't come back up. I'm just telling you. Okay, so then you also put these in and you're going to put the two in at the same time from the sides and then you're going to wrap this around inside of the two, get it on camera and then just press it down. This will be the inside of your box and then the outside I went ahead and folded this and this and you want to fold this one now. Don't wait till you assemble it because then it won't fold all the way because you've already got the box in the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this, but these are the dimensions that you need for this project. I know it's a lot of little pieces, and then this is what's gonna hold the gift card. And I'll explain this, because I don't know what writing it down. So I'm gonna cut three of the main uh, cardstock that I'm gonna be using, and then this one to go right next to it. This one's gonna go on the flap. This one's gonna go all the way around this box. And this is gonna go inside the box. And this also is gonna go inside the box. So I have those already scored and decorated. So I'm just gonna put the box assembly part together. So I am also using the adhesive that's really sticky. Stamp and Seal Plus. Okay, and I'm just gonna do the three sides and start on the one side and go all the way around so it really stays on there. Now I'm gonna put it on this box and you'll have the adhesive right here on the bottom. This is so easy and these come, they're 10 for $10. They're an amazing price. And you'll wanna stick this like in the center from here to here, but put it right where the fold is right there. So you wanna kind of line that up with the fold. So this is the way the book treat boxes look. Now let's decorate it. These are part of my three um, pieces right here. Okay, this is gonna be the outside. And this is if you want a little edge around your boxes. So this kind of depends on what way you want it. And I'm just grabbing a piece, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. You wanna make sure your piece goes all the way to the end because it's gonna go back and forth and it may pick up. Because I'm not using the sticker that actually comes in this because I wanna use it maybe over again if somebody wants me to make another treat box or use it again. So we've got that already done. Now I'm gonna do the inside of the box and I've already put dimensionals on these sayings so they pop up. And it doesn't matter if they pop up because it's got all this room in here for things to pop up. Okay, when you close it. Let's go ahead and put the little can of pop. Now this is where you need the tip. When you close this, I like to take a pen mark because this is not gonna show because you sometimes put dimensionals where you don't want them to. So I'm gonna mark that like that so it's got the curve. And then I wanna put the dimensionals exactly where on the outside of this. So when I put this flap in, it's not gonna um, be in the way of Thing. So I've got those four down and take the adhesive off the back of the dimensionals and this one already has it on the corners and these dies, these simply sparkling dies are so much fun, especially if you like pop or soda. Everybody says it different and that's going to go like that. So there's our outside and we've got to do the spine still. So look, this goes right underneath the pop and it will keep it closed and then you can open it up. Okay, let's do the rest of the inside. This is this piece that basically 
is a 12 inch piece and it's scored at two and a half inches each score mark. Okay, so I'm gonna fold that and I'm just gonna put adhesive right here. And I went ahead and used a lot of the sayings from that um, Simply Sparkling set. So I've got the thank you. So when somebody opens it up, they're gonna look like this. And now the fun part, we've got a gift card here. Now this is, I've already scored this. This is how you make the gift card. One inch, one inch, one inch, and I think this is two inch. So, and I'll put these back on the back table so you can see it. Now this is the only place where I want the adhesive is right here, here, and here. And let me explain to you why. I, went, I go ahead and assemble this first before I cut because it's easier to make sure that it's straight and I'm using the score mark as my cut mark. So this is on both sides because the gift card is gonna slip down in there. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm gonna take this, don't put it in there, then try to cut it. I did that on one of mine, it's too hard. <laughs> it looks all frayed. So I cut that on both sides. So now it's like a little slit mark that you're gonna put your gift card in. So we're gonna put this in right here and then adhesive right here and on the other side. Don't wanna get it on, it's a little sticky too. And then you'll adhere this on the edge so it looks like it's popping up in there when you open it up. So you've got this like this. And guess what? Who this goes to? And you know what? I need to do the spine. I'm missing that piece, but you would put a spine right here. I'm sure it's right here in somewhere, but you put the spine piece like that. And so there, there it is. And guess what? This goes to Amy. Where are you, Amy? Actually, Amy, yours is a little bit different. Here's Amy's. And guess what she gets? A Starbucks card. Oh. <laughs> Come and get it. And Mindy, is Mindy here? Mindy, Mindy gets this card too. And it's a swig card. <laughs> And guess what? These are for Aubrey, Beth, Annalisa, and Jennifer. And they have swig cards in them too. Or a fizz, Jen Annalisa has fizz. <laughs> so yes, I was up doing these last night. Okay, let me show you some more fun ideas. This one just has some goodies in it. And see how I just stick that underneath so you can use it again. This is for Thanksgiving. They can have these at the table. And look how fun that is. You can write thank yous or what you're thankful for and put it back in the box. You can even put some money in there or candy. This next one is a friend's happy birthday. You can use it for a gift card. And I did it this way. So you can put money in there or just anything fun. Stick that back in. This one has some gift tags in it. And just really simple gift tags. I went ahead and just um, die cut these. Just have some gift tags. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We found a stamp. Great <laughs> And I'm guilty of always, where did that It's stamp? like a Christmas present, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you find a stamp in a box. <laughs> and I went ahead and did different kinds of paper to make it kind of fun. Here's another one. Wishing you a holly jolly Christmas. And I just used, this is 11. 11, or just our cardstock. 11 inch by the size and the size, uh, it will be on the template. It's three and three thirds. I just have so many in my brain from doing these. And here's one more. Be Mary. Love this little, this paper. And you want to cut it so these guys are facing the right way. And there's a gift card too. 
So I had so much fun making these and all these products are in our holiday mini catalog. So hope you've enjoyed it.